Hello everyone, today our topic is how to get Telegram notification for India Mart inquiries. So here my objective is that whenever I'm going to receive a new inquiry from India Mart, that automatically I'm going to capture the details of that inquiry and I'm going to use these details to get a notification message on my Telegram group. So for that what I have to do is I have to build a simple connection between India Mart and Telegram. So for building this connection, I'm going to use Pabli Connect, which is an amazing software for automation and integration. In Pabli Connect, I have to use Trigger and Action. In Trigger application, I'm going to use India Mart. In Action application, I'm going to use Telegram. So how I'm going to build this connection for that, let me take you to my computer screen. I hope all you can see my computer screen. And today we are going to see that how we can get Telegram notification for India Mart inquiries. So here, what I want is that whenever I'm going to receive an inquiry or lead from India Mart, then I want to get a notification for that lead or inquiry on my Telegram group where I can add my team and we can convert those leads or inquiries into our customers. And I want to get these notifications automatically. So for that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use Pabli Connect and with Pabli Connect, I can build a simple connection between India Mart and my Telegram group. So for using Pabli Connect, what I have to do is I have to open a new tab and search for pabli.com slash connect. And this will take us to this landing page of Pabli Connect. Here we have two options, sign in and sign up for free. If you don't have any account with Pabli, you can just sign up for free and it will take only two minutes of your time and you will get hundreds of tasks free every month. Or if you already have an account, you can just sign in and you will get to see this page. So these are all the apps that Pabli offers and we are going to use Pabli Connect here. For that, I have to click here on this access now button under Pabli Connect and this will direct us to the dashboard of Pabli Connect. Here, this is the workflow section and we can see all the workflows that we will create here. And this is the folder section. We can create new folder here and we can save any workflow in any particular folder that we want. Now here, what I want to do is I want to create a new workflow. For that, I have to click here on this create workflow button and this window will pop up. Here I have to name my workflow. So I'm going to name it as my objective, which is to get telegram notification for India Mart inquiries. And now I have to select the folder where I want to save my workflow. So for that, I have to open this tab. And in this tab, I will find all the folders that I've created in Pabli Connect account. And now I have to select the folder. So I want to save my workflow in this particular folder of India Mart. So I'm going to select this and I'm going to click on create. And this will take us to this most important window of our workflow. Here we have two boxes, trigger and action. So these are the two main principles on which our workflow works on. And trigger says when this happens, Action says do this. So trigger is going to be the first step that will get executed in our workflow and action will just follow that. So we have to set up our trigger first and here my trigger application is going to be India Mart. So I'm going to select India Mart here and now I have to give a trigger event. So I'm going to open this tab and new leads will be my trigger event. So I'm going to select this and now I'm going to connect India Mart with Pabli Connect. So I'll click here on connect. Now I have to connect India Mart with Pabli Connect and for that I have to click on add new connection. And here for connecting India Mart with Pabli Connect, I have to give a CRM key. So where I'm going to find this CRM key, for that what I have to do is, I have to go to my India Mart account. And now I'm going to go to my profile, where I have this option of settings. So I'm going to open settings here. And now I have to go to account settings. Here I have this option of CRM API. So I'm going to open this. And here this is my API key. So I'm going to generate this key and I will go to Pabli Connect. And here on this tab of CRM key, I'm going to paste my CRM key and I'm going to click on save. And here my connection between India Mart and Pabli Connect is successful. Now I have to first refresh this fields. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on save and send as to button. And here we can see I have received this response. So in the response, I have the subject, which is requirement for punch fertilizer. I have the sender state, which is Florida. Also I have the sender country ISO, which is US. I have the center company, which is Combi Food and Fuel. I have the center city, which is Lakeland. Here I have the query product name and I have the query message, which is I'm interested in buying liquid five liters. So this is the message that I have received for my inquiry. And here, these are all the details that I've received from my inquiry from India Mart. So I have received this response, but if you don't get the response gently, then you don't have to worry because this is a polling based response. And within 24 hours, India Mart is going to send the inquiry details to Pabli Connect. So if you want to reduce this polling time, then what you have to do is you have to connect with our Pabli support team and you can reduce this polling time of India Mart. 
And with this polling time, what is going to happen is that in 24 hours, India Mart is going to search for the new inquiries that we are going to get in our India Mart account. And automatically in the 24 hours, it is going to send the details automatically to Pabli Connect. So here I have received my inquiry details. Now what I need to do is I need to get a notification message of these inquiries on my Telegram group. So for that, what I have to do is I have to set up my actions tab. So I'm going to open this tab and here my action application is going to be Telegram. So I'm going to open Telegram bot here. Now I have to give my action event. So I'm going to open this tab and send a text message or reply will be my action event. So I'm going to select this and I'm going to connect Telegram bot with Pabli Connect. So I'll click here on connect. I will click on add new connection. And for connecting Telegram bot, what I have to do is I have to give a token. So how I can find this token for that, I have to take you to my Telegram account. And here we are going to use bot father. So what I have to do is I have to click on start button. And here I want to create a new bot. So I have to select this option of slash new bot. Now I have to give a new bot. So I have to select a name for my bot. So my bot name will be, so this will be my bot name, which is India Mart inquiries. So I'm going to send this. And now I have to give a username for my bot. So while giving the username, what you have to do is you have to make sure that your username should end with underscore bot. So my username will be India Mart inquiries underscore bot. And I'm going to send this. And here we can see I have created this new bot. So in this message, I have this token. So I'm going to copy this and I'm going to open this bot and I'm going to start this bot first. And now I will go back to public connect. Now I'm going to paste that token that I've received while creating a new bot. So I'm going to paste that here and I'm going to click on save. And here I have successfully connected telegram bot with public connect. Now for sending the message, what I have to do is I have to fill all these tabs. So first I need a chat ID. So how I'm going to get this chat ID for that. I have to take you to my telegram account. And here I have to create a new group. So for creating a new group, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this pencil icon button and here I have to click on new group. Now here first I have to add the members to my group. So I'm going to add my sales team and I also have to add the bot that I have just created. So I'm going to first add my bot. So I'm going to search for my bot, which is India Mart inquiries. So I'm going to add my bot and I can add any member that I want to add in my group. So I'm going to click on next. And here I have to give my new group name. So my new group name will be India Mart inquiries and I'm going to click on next. And here we can see I have created this new group, which is named as India Mart inquiries. I'm going to open this and here I have two members and in this, I have this bot as my member. Now what I need to do is for sending the message on this particular group, I have to make sure that my bot has an access of admin. So I have to give the access of admin to my bot and how I can make my bot admin for that. I have to use my mobile phone and in my mobile phone, I have to open telegram app and after opening my telegram app, I'm going to open my group and I'm going to open the profile section of my group where I'm going to find my members and I'm going to promote my bot as an admin as I'm using telegram web account, which doesn't support promoting. So I'm going to use my mobile phone. So I'm going to do that. And here we can see that I have used my mobile phone to promote my bot as an admin. Now what I need is I need the chat ID. So where I'm going to find my chat ID for that. I have to close this for that. I have to go to my path URL and here we can see I have this chat ID after this hash. So I'm going to copy this. I will go back to public connect and I'm going to paste my chat ID here. Now I have to give the text message that I want to send as a notification on my telegram group. So for that, what I have to do is I have to type my message here. So this is going to be the text message that I want to get as a notification on my telegram group. So my message is we have received a new inquiry and these are the details subject, send a name, send a phone number, send an email, send a company and product name. So here, what I have to do is I have to map all these details and I have received these details from my India Mart inquiry. So I'm going to use those details and I'm going to map those details here. And for that, I have to use mapping. So what mapping is mapping is a technique through which I can retrieve the data from the previous steps and the data that is changing will get replaced with the new data in the real time. So for mapping, I have to click here. I have to give a space and first I'm going to search for the subject. So in this response of India Mart, I have the subject. So I'm going to map this. Similarly, I'm going to search for the sender name. So this is my sender name. So I'm going to map this. Now I need the sender phone number. So I'm going to click here. I will give a space and I'm going to search for the sender phone number. So this is a sender phone number. So I'm going to map this. Now I need the sender email. So I'm going to click here. I will give a space and I'm going to search for the email. Similarly, I'm going to map all these details. So here I have mapped all these details. Now this is going to be the message that I'm going to receive as a notification on my telegram group. 
So every time I'm going to receive a new inquiry from India Mart, then automatically those details of that inquiry will get replaced here and I'm going to get a new notification message on my Telegram group. Now what I need to do is I need to scroll down and I have to click on save and send test request button. And here we can see I have received this response. So this is a positive response. So this means that I've sent a notification message automatically on my Telegram group. Now to check this, I'm going to go to Telegram. And here we can see I've received this new message. So in this, I have this message which says, we have received a new inquiry and these are the details. So I have the subject, I have the sender name, I have the sender phone number, sender email, sender company and the product name. So these are the details of the inquiry that I've received from India Mart and automatically I've get a notification message on my Telegram group with that inquiry details. So here my connection between India Mart and Telegram is working successfully. So whenever I'm going to receive a new inquiry in my India Mart account, then automatically I'm going to get a notification message on my Telegram group. Now let's go back to Public Connect. So, and here we have built this connection between India Mart and Telegram bot such that whenever I'm going to receive a new India Mart inquiry, then automatically I'm going to get a Telegram notification in my Telegram group. So let's summarize what we did here. So first I have set up my trigger and my trigger application was India Mart and my trigger event was new leads. Then I have set up my action step and my action application was Telegram bot and my action event was send a text message or reply. So this is how I have successfully created this workflow and you can also create this workflow by following all the steps that I did in my workflow. And I'm also going to put the link of my workflow in the description so you can check it out from there and thank you for watching this video. Not just these applications, you can automate and integrate a lot more applications like this using Pabli Connect. If you need any help or if you have any doubt, you can email us at support at the If you have any queries, you can post them at forum.pabli.com or if you have any issue with the pricing of Pabli, you can connect on this link. And if you like this video, please like, share and subscribe. Thank you.